two of Memphis's best known landmarks, Beale Street and Graceland. That's right, and they both scream music. Yes. Yeah, and in no other city in the country can you find the very roots of the rhythm that moves us. I'm talking funk and soul to the beat of rock and roll. As the city of Memphis marks its bicentennial, we celebrate the history of Memphis music. If you take a dart and just throw it on a Memphis map, it's sure to land on a landmark with a musical note. Take Memphis's most iconic street, Bill Street. Dating back to the 1800s and until this very day, you'll hear jazz along the street. Even a little rock and roll. And here along Bill Street, you'll find Handy Park, named after W.C. Handy, the man who some say hit a high note and put the Bluff City on the chart. Handy is known as the father of the blues, credited with making Memphis the home of the blues, the first man to copyright a blues song. It's enough to make many on Bill Street flip out, or at least take a flip or two down the street. Not far from Bill Street is Memphis's Rock and Soul Museum. Inside, you'll see exhibits showcasing the names that put Memphis music on the map. We may be the most important music city in the world to modern music because blues was put out to the world here. Rock and roll was invented here. From the Rock and Soul Museum, head across the street, and it's the Memphis Music Hall of Fame. You'll see Memphis artists who inspired generations of musicians to come. Really has always been appreciated, I think, outside of Memphis, especially in Europe, especially Northern Europe, which, of course, to them, seeing Otis Redding and Booker T and the MGs in 1967 was like the Beatles coming to the United States in 1964. People just lost their minds. Travel on a quiet street south of downtown, and you'll find where American soul music was born. Here at Stax, you'll see Isaac Hayes' 24 karat gold tricked out Cadillac. Otis Redding's clothing, and even a real church inside where many generous started. Stax is one of those rare places where black and white could work together and be together in relative harmony during a time of great, you know, unrest. Turn a few corners and there sits Royal Studios. It's one of the oldest continuously operating music recording studios in the world. It's widely known for producing artists such as Al Green, Chuck Berry, John Mayer, and Rod Stewart. I just feel like a custodian of the Memphis Sound and what my father created and what all of the other great Memphis artists uh, exemplified. Near downtown, yet another recording studio, Sun Studio. It's where Elvis Presley recorded, as well as Johnny Cash and Jerry Lee Lewis. It blew the racial barriers in, in radio and music out the window, man. When he got out of church on Sundays, he'd go by the black church that was there and sit out and listen to the music. And for many folks who flock here from all over the world, the granddaddy stop of the mall is Presley's Graceland. His mansion, private gardens, aircraft, and more leave visitors all shook up every year. So from this look around town, you can see on just about every corner, Memphis is music. Memphis is music indeed. And you know, there is a boom of local Memphis musicians challenging norms through their lyrics. So tomorrow night, we celebrate Memphis with this new generation of bold musicians. All right, we will look forward to that. By the way, Local 24 is a proud supporting partner of a new century of soul, the official Memphis Bicentennial Celebration. Join us on Saturday, May 25th from 8 p.m. until 10 for a live primetime special, Celebrate Memphis in association with Memphis in May. We're looking